Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial for this look and I wasn't sure if I should post this because I didn't think it was very springy. So I asked you guys on Instagram and there was an overwhelming response saying, yes, please post this. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. You can see that I actually filmed this before I made different changes to my background. So it's a bit of a throwback video, but um, I really did love this dark, purple lip with matching violet liner. So why don't we get started? I am gonna be speeding through some of the initial steps here just to save some time. So, you know, my foundation and brows and stuff like that, but all the products that I'm using will be listed down below in the info box. I did want to do a little bit of cream contouring for this look, because I don't do that in a lot of videos, so I thought I would just have some fun with it. I'm trying out the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo, and I really wanted to try the contour shade. This is in the shade Almond uh, Light. Yeah, Almond Light. So you can see I'm just applying the darker contour color, different areas of my face, and actually around my lips too. I saw this lip contouring tutorial on Instagram and it made me really wanna try this out. So it looks a little crazy right now until I blend it out, but I feel like it does make your lips look so much more voluminous. I don't know, it was just something that I wanted to play around with, but um, so you can see all the areas that I'm applying this to. I thought the color of this was really natural and really nice. It wasn't too cool toned or too muddy, so here I'm just doing a little contour dance. And I think the easiest way to blend out that little nose contour on the end is just with your finger. To blend the rest out, I use this flatter duo fiber brush. This one is actually also by NYX. Um, I thought it worked really well. Just the shape of it makes it so easy to really get in there and kind of buff out your cream contour. So that's what I'm doing here. And the lip contour might look a little odd for a while as I go through the tutorial, but you'll see by the end, it'll look normal. So um, here you can see the before and after. I went over everything one more time with the brush that I used to apply my foundation just to blend it out further. And then I'm gonna take my favorite eyeshadow base, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and apply that to my lid. And um, this really helps if you have like freckles or veins showing on your lid like I do. It just helps to even everything out and get that clean slate for our eyeshadow. So today I'm using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. And like usual, I'm setting my eyeshadow base with the lightest shade called Heaven. It's really gonna help with blending. And then I wanted to go in with this one by Makeup Geek. This is my favorite peach smoothie and I'm applying that with a big fluffy brush to my crease as my transition color because I really wanted a warmer shadow for my transition. This is like a warm orangey, um, yeah, kind of like an orangey color, a peach color if you will. So I'm just applying that to my crease and really blending it out and upwards. And then I'm switching to my Tartlet In Bloom palette to pick up this color called Sweetheart, which is a rosy brown. And that color is just going to melt right in with the other one because we've already set our eyeshadow base with a matching shadow. So it's just gonna help everything just melt right together. And don't feel like you have to go through so many different palettes like I did. I was just kind of going off the cuff and using whatever was in front of me at the moment. But I like to blend that up a little bit higher because I have a prominent brow bone. So that way you can still see the color so that's why I blend my transition up so high. Um, then I'm gonna take Sienna by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm using an E25 by Sigma to work that around the lid. So kind of in the outer V, but we're really keeping it off the lid and blending it more into the crease and upwards. So this is a reddish brown. It's just gonna really warm everything up and start to deepen up the look as well. Then I'm dipping into Red Earth, also by Anastasia. This is probably one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. If you have green eyes, this is the jam. It really makes your eyes pop, but it looks really good on everyone too. I'm just applying that in the same area to further deepen up the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with Beauty Mark, also by Anastasia. This is almost just a deeper version of Red Earth. So it's like that same reddish purpley brown tone, just darker, and I'm really, patting that on to the outer third of the lid to create some dimension and some smokiness. Um, these colors, I think, really enhance the purple that we're gonna have um, in our liner and on our lips. 
so they kind of look brown but they look purple at the same time so it just pulls the whole look together and I'm just layering that on slowly and what I usually do is just backtrack with my brushes to blend it usually works pretty well for me and then remember this old friend this is a throwback this is the lavish palette by Anastasia but I love this color cream it is the perfect peachy pink matte color for the lid and it just adds in a little bit of color but it's very subtle so I'm really loading that color onto the lid and then we're gonna do a little dance break and I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in Black and add that to my lower waterline because I really wanna get a smoky effect on that lower lash line. So I'm gonna take this flat, uh, flat liner brush and start blending the liner into the root of my lashes and kind of smoking it out at the same time. I'm bringing it in a little bit farther in the inner corner as well. I'm going in with Black Plum by Bobbi Brown and I'm using that to smoke out the lower lash line even more. And I really wanna bring it in in the inner corners like I mentioned before because that's gonna give us a really angular cat eye look to our eyes. And I find whenever I do this, it's just so helpful to go and blend everything out again with a fluffy brush, like a crease brush. So um, I don't have a clip of this, but I'm just using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer here. Um, again, this is a throwback, and I am applying quite a bit of this, apparently, to my under eye and my upper lip. I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender like usual. And if you guys are wondering, my perfect shade in MAC concealer is NC25. I'm using this little motives brush to really perfect that under eye area closest to the lower lash line because we wanna make sure that gets as, um, as tight to our eyeshadow without covering it as possible. This really just airbrushes everything out beautifully. Then I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Fair, and I wanted to, I can never get my nose highlight straight. Does anybody else have that problem? But I wanted to bring out the high points in my face because we did the contouring, so I wanted to balance it out by highlighting with this concealer. Um, it's really perfect for that. It's just so airbrushed and really luminous looking, so, and it's also very easy to blend out with a beauty blender. It just kind of melts into the rest of your skin, or foundation, you know what I'm saying. Then I'm setting my under eye concealer and my highlight with this shade called Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I'm just dusting that on and then I'm gonna set my foundation with the Benefit Hello Flawless Custom Powder Cover Up in the shade Honey. And I'm using an It Brush, It Brush for Ulta here, but I'll put the number down below in the info box. I'm using my MAC Vanilla Pigment to highlight the inner corners because I just really wanted an intense inner corner highlight to bring out the eyes. And then I'm using this ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Best O. They describe this as a deep burgundy color, but I really feel like it's more of a black violet. So I'm just winging that out and giving myself a nice wing, because if you like it, you gotta put a wing on it, right? And when I'm going back and really thickening up my liner, what I like to do is just draw a straight line from the outer corner to a little farther than halfway. Just draw a straight line in. Then I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and this is my all-time favorite. I just love this stuff so much. Um, and I feel like it makes my lashes look healthy when I'm using this as well. So I'm applying that to my upper lashes. I'm gonna go back and highlight with a little bit of that Heaven shade that we use in the very beginning, highlight my brow. And I always go back over with some clear brow gel by Anastasia just to set my eyebrows back into place and finish off with mascara on the lower lashes. The falsies I'm using today are my favorite Siren Lashes by House of Lashes. They are just stunners, what can I say? They're so, so pretty and they're definitely my favorite like dramatic glam lash. So once we've got those babies on, we can move on to, well, more liner. I'm using a brand new NYC liquid liner in black because I had some leftover glitter on those falsies so I'm just trying to go back and cover cover that up. I'm using my favorite bronzer, my MAC Give Me Sun. It's just my faves guys. Every time I try a new one I just always end up going back to this one. I like to switch up with my other products but this is just the best bronzer. I don't even know why. It's just so gorgeous and pretty and it blends out so well too. I think that's another reason why I love it so much. 
So yeah, and sometimes I like to squeeze my bronzer brush like I'm doing here, my F10 brush, to get more of a targeted application around my hairline. So once I've done that, I'm gonna take this chiseled cheek brush by Makeup Geek and use that color Lyric again. And here I'm underlining the contour area, so this can really help. If you've blended your bronzer a little bit too far down, this can help to set off your contour again. So I'm applying that and then I'm going over with Give Me Sun just to chisel out the end of my nose and I'm just applying that color anywhere that we, again, apply that cream contour to accentuate it. For blush today, I'm using MAC Warm Soul. So this is a warmer, how would I describe it? Like a warmer pinky beige color. You guys know I love to layer my blushes. I mean, why use one when you can use two? So I usually like to put this one on first. And then here I'm going back over with some of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the color Exposed. And this one is a matte blush and it's more of a nude shade. So once I'm done applying my face color, like my bronzer and blush and everything, I always like to blend. So I'm using this Motives Duo Fiber Brush just to catch that inner part of my cheek color. And then I'm gonna take this Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer. I'm actually, you guys don't have to do this, I'm doing this more as a quick fix because I felt like my skin was too matte. So I wanted to add some radiance back in and this bronzer is really great for that. It just adds some warm luminosity to the skin. I'm gonna blend again. For my highlighter today, I'm gonna to see if you guys can figure out what it is just by looking at it right here. I bet you can. It is, of course, Becca Champagne Pop. I love this one. It's just the perfect mix of like golden and peachy tones, um, especially for a look like this where we're doing you know, dark lip, dark liner. I feel like you don't wanna go with a super, super light, bright highlight. Just tone it down a little bit. And Champagne Pop is perfect for that. And I'm gonna hit the highest points of my face with some of Laura Geller Gilded Honey, just because those smaller spots can kind of handle a lighter highlighter, and this one works perfectly with Champagne Pop. Moving on to the lips. This is me trying to match my lip liner to my eyeliner. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> I had to leave that in the video. I thought that was hilarious. But um, so here I'm using the MAC Cosmetics lip pencil in the color Current. And you can see how I like to trace a line down the center of my lip. I just feel like it makes it look more full. So I outline it, I trace that little line down the center, and then I gradually fill them in. And to finish off the look, I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Cosmetics Lippy Stick in the shade Nevermind. This is a really beautiful deep purple color. So I'm applying that right on top, and the thing I love about these ColourPop little lippy sticks is that even though this one does have a little bit of a sheen, they stay in place so well. They just have, they wear almost like a matte lip would, so it doesn't bleed, it doesn't move around, it doesn't fade. They have so many gorgeous colors to choose from. So I felt like this color worked really well. I don't know why I'm smelling it here, but um, <laughs> I feel like it worked really well with the look. And then I wanted to, after I go back and re-outline, I wanted to fix up my lip color with some concealer. And I'm gonna be using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 and just using a synthetic flat brush to kind of go around the edges and perfect the shape. After I've done that, I'm gonna reset it with some powder, add a little bit more of the bronzer around my lips because we wanna make sure our you know, lip contour is still there after going over with concealer. But that pretty much completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just, I've been loving these deeper purpley violet shades, so I just wanted to do a color coordinating look using them. And thank you guys so much for watching and requesting this look, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.